Toby feels left out. It was springtime on the island of Sodor. All the engines were working hard in the sunshine. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt arrived at Tidmouth Sheds. He had some exciting news. The new Sodor Museum opens soon, he announced. Lots of very important people will be coming to the island for the grand opening. What's a museum? asked Percy. It's a place where they put old things so people can stand and look at them, huffed Gordon. I want you all to look your best, so everyone is to have a repaint. All the engines were very pleased. Later that morning, Toby met James at Natford Station. Have you heard about the opening of the new museum, Puff James? We're all having a repaint. I shall look wonderful with a brand new coat of red paint. I've not heard about that, said Toby. Why hasn't Sir Topham had told me? You must have been left out, Chuff James. And he steamed away. That night, Toby couldn't sleep. He kept worrying about what James had said. Why hasn't Sir Topham had told me about the museum, he wondered. Why have I been left out? By the next morning, Toby thought he knew the answer. He met Thomas at Abbey Station. Have you heard about the museum, asked Toby. Yes, puffed Thomas excitedly. We were all being repainted. I'm not, puffed Toby sadly. But I think I know why. I am a very old steam tram. Maybe Sir Topham Hatt has decided to put me inside the museum. Thomas wasn't so sure. Why don't you ask him, huffed Thomas helpfully. Toby looked worried. He was frightened of what Sir Topham Hatt might say. Must go, puffed Thomas. Really useful engines are really busy ones. And he chuffed away. Toby thought for a moment. I'll show Sir Topham Hatt that he can't put me in a museum, said Toby. I'll show him I'm a really useful engine. Toby arrived at Tidmouth Sheds. Sir Topham Hatt was talking to Emily. Emily, you must go to the yard for your repaint, said Sir Topham Hatt. Emily was very happy. Another engine must collect your flower, said Sir Topham Hatt. 